Yeah. They should try to explain to each other that rather than just attacking people, attacking you. Say, my brother, what you're saying is not correct. I don't believe it. If, if my prophet is engaged in marriage for six years old, tomorrow I will be not Muslim. Well, you need to stop being Muslim. No, no, no. no. You see, now, you, now you're my, my, in my business. So, you, so now you have an agenda behind you. One not second. Just, one second. Not just one, two, don't, don't, I said, I don't one second. Don't. One second. One second. Well, I'm. I, I listen. I'm sorry, but I'm. I'm going to reply now, whether you whether you want me to or not. So basically, the brother the brothers come up to me and he, and he was talking about he was talking about what happened last week when we were talking about. Um, uh, Muhammad having sex with children and he pointed out and he pointed out he pointed out that most Muslims don't agree with that and I want to say no, I, to no, I totally I totally oh he does want to I don't sorry no, are, are we gonna start shouting right I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk right so so the thing is he says that most Muslims don't agree with that and I totally agree with him most Muslims are better than Muhammad most Muslims are better than their prophet and what he said was that these hadiths have been faked they have been uh, made up by later muslims to justify what arab muslims were doing at the time fine let's assume that that is true but that means that the hadiths are an unreliable corpus of texts but the muslims use the hadiths to understand their quran but wait it gets worse because what does the quran say it says this, speaking about the times of waiting between marriages. This is what it says. And those of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the prescribed period, if you have doubt about their periods, is three months. So you wait three months for women who've started menstruating to see if they're pregnant from their previous marriage before you get married again. And for those who have no courses, i.e., and this is the brackets put in by the Muslim scholars of Saudi Arabia, they are still immature. Those are the words not put in by some right-wing nationalist. They are the words put in by a scholar based at Medina University in Saudi Arabia. That is their wording. Those that are still immature, their prescribed period is three months likewise. So the Quran is stipulating that you can marry prepubescent children. That is what the Quran is saying. So if you disagree with that Muslims, you need to find yourself a better religion. And we have one. It's called following Jesus. Because the Christian faith allows for human reason to be applied on many, many questions. It's not a religion of prescription. It's not a religion of law. It's a religion of ontology. It's a religion of the way that you be human. And one of the ways that we are human is to think. And conclusively, civilization after civilization, society after society, have been raising the age of consent. Why? Because the evidence about childhood development is conclusive. Nine is too young. Six is too young. Prepubescent children are too young. Your Quran is contradicting all of the evidence, which means one of two things. Either the inspiration behind the Quran is dynamic, it is satanic, and it wishes to destroy the innocence of children, or two, Muhammad isn't the prophet he claimed to be. As Christians, we are told to work out our salvation with fear and trembling, which means that we think about how best to love. And when we think about how best to love children, we don't put them into situations that they are emotionally and physically unable to cope with. Which is why Christians elevated the child labor laws. And we said that you can't send children up chimneys. It's why Christians 
elevated the idea of the age of consent. It's why Christians have the scope within their religion to change moral praxis based upon the best information. Whereas Islam is tied to what the Quran says and it is tied to what Muhammad did. And Muslims are rightly embarrassed by their hadiths. It is embarrassing to say that your prophet married a six-year-old. It is embarrassing to say that your prophet had sex with a nine-year-old. It is embarrassing to say that your prophet sucked on the tongue of a small boy. It is embarrassing to follow that kind of man. But we Christians don't follow that kind of man. We follow Jesus Christ. And I would encourage you to do the same.